Hey, Joseph S. Khan here, and as a part of my mission and CTO role at HumJam, which is a digital marketing agency that helps other agencies thrive with cutting edge tactics and strategies, I test, utilize, and speak about a ton of SEO tools in the industry, and in this video, I'll show you one of the best tools that just recently came across my desk that made it super easy to find juicy keywords, plan topics, and write amazing SEO content that pushes the ball on Google rankings using semantic magic. I'm talking about the semantic writer. If you're looking for a killer tool or some easy ways to blast past your SEO competition, be sure to stay to watch the entire series to get a good handle on the amazing updates of LSI Graph as well as some killer tactics that our digital marketing agency is using right now to rank at the top of Google. This is part three, so if you missed parts one and two, be sure to check those out for many in missing information. So, if you're excited to learn more about SEO tools and killer tactics to use them like a pro, then like and subscribe to this video and channel for more up and coming features because I eat and breathe this stuff. Also, I have a little bonus at the end of this video with a secret tactic I use with their bulk SEO keyword tool. So stay to the very end to get ahead of the SEO game. So let's dive right in. Okay, so from the planner screen, like I said, we could jump in from any of the keywords. We can jump right into the semantic writer. Now, for this example, we jumped into or created the HVAC repair. And this is gonna give us the ability to kind of start from scratch. And we can kind of look at, and I added another keyword here, and we can see anything that we wanna go ahead and start writing from here. So HVAC repair, if I wanted to just copy that right in here um, and put that in the title, I could definitely do that. I could just copy and paste it right in the title there. And look at that, it automatically um, changes my score um, right there knowing that I have a repair there right here. So this is kind of the start of our editor. I'm gonna show you a little bit more cool stuff about it, but um, this is something that you'll do when you're writing, optimizing or completed, because when I go back here to my semantic writer screen, this is where everything is organized. And so this is kind of cool. So you can start writing content from scratch and create a document right here, or you can look and see what you already have written. And what I like about that is that I can see what I have completed. I can see what I'm optimizing. So you see that I'm working on that. You see that this is one that I'm writing, writing, writing. And then this one's completed. We'll look at that one in a second. Um, but Yoga for Beginners, this is one that we were also working on and as laid out. And basically the H2s, we have the H2s laid out in our diagram and we're still under optimizing here. So it says well optimize, it says writing. We're now optimizing this. So I'm gonna go ahead and select optimizing and we're making this better because it's at a 72. I could make it better. Now, you've seen kind of this before where you see word count and over here on the right hand side, this may look familiar as well. We can drop down and add more keywords. You can add three keywords to target. Um, you can edit the URL. I would recommend doing this. This is gonna suggest for you to do that. The URL that you're gonna go ahead and target, you would go ahead and put that in. And then it has a SERP analyzer, so this operates just like your regular tools. Then it has a SERP analyzer over here that will do just what we've done, but I love this little green line and showing you exactly where you're at with your current document on any of these features. Heading count, we can see my headings, we can see my paragraph count, we can see image count. Uh, I need to add more images here, that's one of the things we can see page speed, I don't have a page up so you can't see page speed, but um, also topics, if I wanna add topics, popular questions, this is another cool thing that anything we wanna add, like if I wanted to add what class is right for me, frequently linked, I love this. This is one of the links that we grabbed from over here on Yoga Today. So if you wanna click and when we have to do a link out, that's gonna suggest doing a link out, these are frequently linked to areas, so it's giving me great suggestions here. And then this is my suggestions. So I could either get to suggestions there, if I'm, say, in my keywords here, and I'm over here, and I'm at a 72, and every time you make changes here, every time we add um, something here, it'll check off, like you'll see if I hit that, and if I just add the content that just added it there, you'll see it just checked off there. Um, and as you write more content, say for this, 
then this will get better. So if I click on suggestions, it's telling me what I need to do. If I needed to fix the title length, headers, word count, different stuff like that, keyword density, it looks like I'm over um, density for <laughs> density. I'm over that for that. And you can kind of see my titles, my headings, my content. You can see the keywords that's here. You can see what I need. You can see that um, I need to actually add more links over here on the right hand side. So this is something that you see in this entire writer. Now if I click back again, that was yoga for beginners, HVAC repair. The other thing that you can do is start from scratch. So say you're just optimizing something that already exists for HVAC repair and want to see where it sits. Um, this is one that I've just grabbed. You can just grab. And the cool thing about this editor is you literally can just paste it right here and import it right into the editor and see how many keywords is being used on this document, um, if it's adequate, um, what it needs, any suggestions, right from a page. So we can take any page online, we can throw in a keyword, and we can see what needs to be done to bump that up. So that's a really cool feature here that's built into there. And then the other thing is, um, let me show you one that's well optimized and already done. So with one like this, this is one that's live, optimized, and ranking. Um, we're using a lot of keywords here. We added a table of contents here. We really made this good here. And as you see, it's well optimized. If you look in the suggestions, we really tried to nail this. And again, um, we're getting rankings for this already uh, once we launch this. So this is what we can do here is basically just create content. Um, and then either paste it in here or you can bring it in from your web page and then you can optimize it from here and then export it from there. Going across the top, of course, is your regular tools that you have. And once you're done, you can save it out and get ready to publish it and rock and roll. So that's the semantic writer. Now, I do want to show you a little bonus here for this. One thing that um, we don't have a separate video for is this bulk keyword research tool. Now I love this tool. So if you're using other tools like we are, like commonly in agency spaces, we use more than one keyword tool. This will allow you to throw down a lot of keywords at one time. And what I love to do is using another tool called Ranking Gap. And here I have a common thread. I'm looking at, um, since we're working at the AC area, I've got some competitors here. And um, it looks like there's common keywords here that we all share that I want to target. I want to throw in a target. So how can I quickly get that into my document or my uh, LSI graph here? All I have to do is click export all. And then, so again, no matter what tools you're using, you could be using SEMrush, you could be using SERPstat, you could be using any number of HREFs, any number of SEO tools out there for keyword research. And um, this will basically bring it in. So if I save that, and then I literally can just quickly open it. Watch how easy this is. So once I have this, I just hold down my shift key and page down, page down. I've got all the keywords here. I'm gonna control C to copy, or you could right click and copy. And then from here, I'm just gonna click paste uh, and then research keywords. Now, this is really fast. That's as fast as it was. Um, you didn't see this take long at all. I literally took down um, from one keyword tool, paste it in here, got all my keywords here, and then I can do my keyword dance here. I can go in here and I can say, oh, I'm just gonna go 50 here, I'm gonna go 60 here, and I'm gonna go 30 here. And I'm just basically baking in and seeing what, oh man, look at this, air conditioning installers, that's a little hard, but look at this, 19, 19, 33. These are some things that, that Air conditioning tune-up special, 140, 28, boom, that's easy. So I'd grab that. Uh, wow, look at that. Grab that. I mean, look at the opportunity, look at the keyword. This came out of another tool, pasted into this one, and now I'm going to quickly go here and add this right to my HVAC project. So that's how easy it is to go from your bulk keyword research tool to grab keywords that you may be finding them elsewhere and want to include them in this project. Go do that now. You can grab any of your keywords and throw them in here. You can throw up to 500. I throw up to 500 at a time and then just spot and pick and add them into my projects from there. So it's super easy to use and super amazing using the bulk keyword research tool.
So as you can see, using another keyword tool to grab bulk, you can easily research and import them right into your project from any tool out there that you are using right now to grab other keywords. How amazing is this tool? So if you haven't gotten your copy, do that now and watch your ranks soar like ours. Look below this video for a link and remember, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for further assistance with SEO, tips, strategies, and much more. Best wishes on your rankings and reach out for any questions you may have and see you soon for the next tool that I review.